Hey guys, it's Brett. I uh, just wanted to talk about the server a little bit and um, maybe show a couple clips that I have of just the Pekang and what it's like if you guys are interested or if anybody's interested. The server's pretty dead still. Uh, I I don't know. It's really annoying because I had a lot of people when I said I was going to turn it back on. A ton of people were like, oh, dude, that's so hype. Like, oh, let's go. Let's make it big. Let's do this. Let's do that. And the same people have it been online <laughs> like so no everyone says they want to play and then you put it up and nobody wants to play because there's not an instant crowd waiting you know like everyone just seems to follow the crowd everyone says they they love this revision and they love the idea of it and stuff like that but that there's no players so they don't want to play so it's kind of unfortunate but um some things i'm working on is making pkang a bit more accessible like easier to access i put staffs uh, staff lights in the shop infinity boots d boots mages books um i'm thinking about making uh b gloves and shit easier to obtain so you don't have to really grind for them if you don't want to um you're gonna keep most of your untradeables on death uh, you used to not like defenders stuff like that you wouldn't keep them on death um if people really want me to, like, if it really doesn't work, like, if I make PKing easier, if I make the items easier to get, shit like that, and it doesn't work, I'm going to make it so you can set your combat stats whenever you want. It, it's kind of iffy because I really love the idea of having to grind for Turmoil and Soul Split because it's such a, a valuable, like, it, it's such a big perk and it's not something you can lose in-game. You always have it. Um, so one thing I might do is make it so you can set 99 Prayer, but... You have to pay like revision points or PK points or something to unlock it, like unlock curses. So you can still have the same combat level as everyone else, like with 99 prayer, but you just you don't have curses unless you earn it. Um, another thing I did it was I made bloody keys a bit more common. Like this is the loot you get from them, the loot I'm getting currently. It seems really shit, but it's like a 50% chance to get the key, and it's not intended to be something where you're like. Oh my god, yes, I got a bloody key. No, it's just supposed to be like, oh, I got this with my kill. Let's see if I can get something extra that's actually good. Uh, and right now I'm getting junk, but the economy is meant to be really good. That's why it, there's like really bad stuff. Is because like anything, it's just supposed to be a random loot on the side. Um, and the rares you can get if you want to see that. You can get like Mage's Book, Ranger Boots, uh, you can get Lucky AGS, Lucky Claws, which they're the same as the normal ones, but they're lost on death and they're untradeable, so um, there's that. Uh, there is one Wilderness boss at the moment, uh, if you don't know, but he isn't very good. He's good, like the drops are decent, but the problem is, is he's too hard. Like, I almost want to take him out of the Wilderness and... Um, put him somewhere else for people to kill because he's really hard like you have to pray properly or it's just not gonna work like I think you start out praying range uh, I'll, I'll show you guys real quick oh okay never mind then one sec okay yeah uh, as you can see uh, you can't pray range because it's the hit that registers the quickest and when he says this you have to like time it perfectly like it, with his animation so I'd switch back to range that's mage back to mage yeah like for, obviously I can't do it right now because fucking either I'm shit or the server's lagging I don't know but it, you have to focus really hard when you're killing him but if you're focusing he does no damage but anyways yeah uh, enough of that uh, another idea I had was to put the Barrows brothers like a separate version of them in the wild and so you could just sit there and farm them and camp them if you want but obviously there'll be a risk to killing them like uh, so for people who don't enjoy doing the mini game you can just go out and kill them over and over and over and hope to get the items as drops but you obviously have a risk of dying so it's a good place for noobs to go because it's an easy place to camp but it's also a dangerous place because um you can get pk there obviously um that's all i really have to showcase i mean if you guys have any suggestions, or even if you don't play, like you're just watching this, you're like, oh, I wonder what his server's like. If Even if you don't play, and you just like want an idea of, or you want to give some ideas, like things you would think would be cool on a server like this, or anything like that, just comment below. Like I'll respond and actually talk about it if you want. But yeah, that's about it. Uh, I'll see you guys later.